Another idea you're going to look at is uh, given a data set of rank. So you'll see this anytime you take a standardized test and a variety of other things. Uh, so I took my exercise data and I told Google Sheets to order it for me. You can do the same thing in Excel. So zero is the smallest, 40 is the biggest number. Rank means what position in the list is a number. So I have zeros here that are in positions one, two, three, four. Uh, now you may say they're all the same number. Well, yes and no. This belonged to one person. This zero belonged to another person. That zero belonged to another. So you know maybe this is Gary, Ruby, Julia, and Michelle. Um, so that there are four different zeros. They belong to four different people. That is very important. The idea of a percentile is, so for example, I asked the computer, what's the 90th percentile? 90th percentile on paper is abbreviated P for percentile, a little subscript of 90. Uh, on a, when I'm typing on a computer, I do P underscore 90. Uh, and so the Google said the number 15 is the 90th percentile. That means there's a 15 in the list so that 90% of the data is less than or equal to 15 hours per week. Okay. So that means there's only 10% of the people that exercised more than this person who exercised uh, 15 hours per week. So that's percentile. It's uh, the 90th percentile is a number in the list. Percentile rank kind of goes the other way. If you pick a number in the list, let, let's say I exercise 20 hours per week and I want to see how I compare to everybody else. So I ask Google to look at my list, column A, and take look for the number 20 in there and find out what percent of the data is less than or equal to 20 hours per week. And Google came back and said 94% of the data, 94% of the students exercise less than 20 hours per week. All right, so try to help you understand what that means a little more. Let's take a look at my percentiles table, blow it up just a touch. So for example, I entered a formula here, percentile. So I'll just do that again so you can see what it looks like. So equals, stop typing percent. I have all these different ones. I'm going to choose percentile, which will give me the value at a given percentile in the data set. So first they say, what's the data? So either highlight your data or select the whole column if that's the only thing in the column. Always be careful about that decision. Percentile needs to be given as a decimal. So if I want the 90th percentile, I have to enter 0 0.9, which is 90%. And then I can close it. Google looks at the list and says, hey, the number 15 is there. And so down below here, I just typed that formula that's above. Okay, So that's percentile. Percentile rank means you know a particular data number, like somebody exercised 20 hours per week. You want to find out where they sit in the list, in an ordered list. <clears throat> so similarly for that, I want to go, so this is backwards of the problem above, percentile rank, and it says grab the data, and then what number in the list are you looking for? And I'm looking for the number 20 in the list. Google says that ranks at 94.2. So that means 94.2% of the students exercise 20 hours or less each week. Now, just to double check that, uh, I have 361 students uh, exercise hours in this, in this week. So 90% of 361 would be 324.9. So that means if I, if I list these from smallest to largest and I look at the 325th number in the list, that should be 15. Now your data doesn't have to be ordered for this formula to work. Google orders it if it's not already and then finds the right number. But here I did sort it. And so let's say I wanna go down to through about 325th row. Get in there. And remember, these numbers are going to be off one here on the side. OK, so you can see that there's a 15 in, in the 325th position would actually be this one right here because there's a heading on this right here. And notice there's a whole bunch of 15s. Look at all of them that way. And there's some more that way. OK. Uh, and, and there's a formula in the book that says how to deal with percentiles when you have multiple numbers, which is often the case. And that's on 392 and 393 in the print book. 
uh, percentile rank, it said the 20 hours was in like the 94% precision. And if I take 94% times 361, that gives me the 340th number in the list. So if I scroll down toward the end of my data, okay, there's 361 numbers in the list. I want the 340th, which should be one of these 20s and it grabbed the, the first 20, so in the 340th position. So percentiles are a way of ranking uh, numbers and they're popular in standardized tests uh, among other places. So you get a little experience with that. Now there are some special percentiles like the 25th percentile, the 50th percentile, and the 75th percentile. We call those quartiles. Uh, quartiles are involved